interesting is now we're coming up on the fucking, uh, on the exchange for the 826 and the 836. We're going north-south. 836 takes you to the airport, into the airport if you want to, right here, and also takes you towards uh, the coast, towards downtown and shit. And they're actually redoing this whole fucking interchange. You can see that whole fucking... Oh, wow, it's already in operation. All right. You see this fucking overpass? You see both of these overpasses in front of us? The tall ones? I saw them get built piece by piece. Every weekend, I'd come down to Miami, and they'd be advanced like another 50 feet. And now they're actually working. That is fucking cool. And as you can see, they're still doing... They're still working on this project. That'll cost some taxpayer money. Alright, Flagler. Flagler Street, baby. Flagler is the dividing line between North and South in Miami-Dade County. So as soon as we cross Flagler, we are officially in the Southwest. And this here, to the right, is Mall of Americas. That's where I used to skip schools and go to, you know, watch movies and, and play at the arcade and shit when I was a kid. The arcade ain't the same no more. Now it's some kind of internet fucking, you know, online gaming shit. They have little computers set up. It's kind of weird and kind of gay and shit. It ain't like back in the day with Street Fighter and Cruising USA. You know what I mean? The movie theater is kind of sucky. It's small. The seats are uncomfortable. But it's cheap and it's fucking in the hood. I've seen... I've, I've easily seen 100 movies in that theater. Easily. Southwest A Street, just mixed the S, missed the exit. Southwest, Southwest A Street, where they have Calle Ocho. That'll take you down into Little Havana and all that old shit. Let's see, where should I get off at? Get off at Burn. Yeah, fuck it. If I'm going to take you guys through my fucking home, we're going to get off on Burr Road. Fuck this bullshit. I don't want to hear no negative comments about how I drive, goddammit. Alright. Fuck the bullshit. Here we go. Southwest 40th Street, Burr Road, Westchester. Welcome to my neighborhood. This, this, this empty fucking lot you see right here, it looks like something was recently demolished. There used to be a restaurant here. This big fancy, you know, <coughs> fucking uh, Spanish architecture looking building. But it was like one restaurant for like forever. And then they closed and like three or four other restaurants tried to fucking come in and make it work. But this location is horrible because there's no way to directly turn into it. You know, you have to like go down and make a U-turn and then cut in there and it's, it's just it's just horrible so I'm I'm not surprised that they finally just said fuck this welcome to Westchester people this whole shopping center to the right Best Buy Target Supermarket Taco Bell I saw this shit get built this shit got built like in 97 96 no 94 95 Service merchandise used to be in there. I worked in that service merchandise. Obviously, there are no more service merchandise. My best friend's girlfriend used to work at this uh, at this Taco Bell here, you know, back in high school and shit. Always used to fucking go there, try to get free food. <laughs> 
tropical, tropical park over there to the left. I've done everything in that park. You know, sleep, smoke, fuck, drink, snort, all that good shit. And, oh, you're going to love this, guys. See this funeral home right here? It used to be Boston Market, my first job. I should have cut through the park, but that shit is slow fucking going. Yeah, let's not do that. Strip mall to the right here. I won't turn the camera again. It's a lost strip mall with a bunch of little stores and restaurants and shit. <clears throat> but the alley behind that strip mall is where we used to chill on a regular basis. You know, things have changed. Obviously, you go in that alley now and they've got cameras and, and they put gates up. But, like, in the late 90s, man, it was wide open. You just duck off back there, smoke, drink, chill, no harassments, no cops, no problems. Polito Viejo to the right, nice little Colombian restaurant, very fucking Colombian, but the food is good. Right here, this light 84, if you buck a right and go down, go down to the second street, my buddy Frick used to live right there on that corner house, spent a lot of time there getting fucked up. They eventually moved. I don't know if he went back to Fort Walton or what. People that came in really remodeled the house, got it looking really nice, so that was kind of cool. I mean, I could keep going and tell you a whole lot of stories about every little fucking place that we pass, but there's no sense in that. We'll tell you that Chevron used to be a fucking 7-Eleven, goddammit. That's fucking relatively new. What do we have? 383 here, 383 there. Yeah, I put 379 last night. Anyway. Then I used to live... Now we're still a we're still a ways away. I used to work at this porn store right here up on the right hand side. It's changed the name a few times, but I used to work there. <laughs> Spent a year working in that porn store. Right here with Senior Stereo is that's 90th. Used to have a ex back in the day that used to live a, a couple blocks down. And then the next street, 91st, second uh, second duplex on the left. I used to live there when I was like 16 years old. Right behind the second house behind the gas station there. Hour long video. This will be fun to edit. So 
So yeah, man. I'm gonna. I got some stuff to do. Wash the car. Do some shit. You know. I'm gonna try to find me some Schlitz malt liquor. Matter of fact, I think I know where to go. Matter of fact, let's do that right fucking now. One more little hood tidbit. If you look to your right hand side, the sign's hidden by the trees and shit. But if you look, fucking bird bowl. Bowling alley, pool hall, arcade. Spent a lot of time there when I was a kid. It looked a whole lot rattier back then. Holy crap! My fucking ghetto ass gas station is now a shell? Holy fucking shit. This used to be a fucking FINA, then it was a marathon, then I think it changed to an America with a K. Now it's a shell. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Let's go. Let's see if all the bums still hang out here though. Fucking A. The hood changes, man. Stand. I'll be back. All right, so I got a quarter. March 2013. OD. For 241. Can't complain. Fuck it. Off we go. Ah, bitch. See, that's the thing about, you know, that's the thing about your neighborhood. Not only do you love your neighborhood and you're, you're proud of your neighborhood and shit, but you know your neighborhood. I know these back streets like the back of my hand. No need to get back on the main fucking roads, you know what I mean? Yeah, please. You were driving too slow. You need to turn the fuck out of my way. All right, so I got me some old D to fucking drink after I fucking wash my car and do all that good shit. That'll be fun. No Schlitz ball liquor. All they had was old D and Mickey's. I haven't popped into a gas station to fucking buy, you know, swill down here in, in quite some time, so... See, this, this part of fucking town is nice. This, like, this, this area, a lot of nice houses. It's a nice residential. Go back out to Bird. You go on the other side, like where I said I used to live and shit, and duplexes and shit. It's really fucking cramped. A lot of duplexes. A lot more, uh, a lot more pope. If it wasn't because I fucking hate Miami for the fucking traffic and just the overcrowding and the, the bullshit and the corruption and the taxes and shit, I'd fucking want to buy a house around here. Although any one of these houses will run you two hundred thousand dollars, easy. Three two, you know, a simple three two with a yard doesn't matter. Two and change. I mean, you know, nowadays with the market the way it is, I'm sure you could find a foreclosure, you know, short sale, something, you know, and, and not have to pay that money. But that's that's your value. That's your standard value. I mean, right before the housing bubble burst, houses in this area. We're, we're approaching fucking, you know, half a million dollars. Like, my mom's house, as fucked up as it is, as old as it is, like, you know, in, in, in the early 2000s, before the bubble burst, you know, right, right at the peak when fucking housing prices were through the roof, that house would have appraised easily for $400,000. It was bought for like 196 or no, 170 it was bought. In the mid one, 150, 160, 170. I forget the number. 
that lot in front of us, that house was uh, abandoned and really fucked up by Hurricane Katrina, and they eventually knocked the fucking thing down. Kind of sucks, though. Hate to live next door, because you get all kinds of fucking bugs and rats and snakes and all that grass and shit. All right, come on now. All right, and off we go. All right, folks, we're in Miami. We're here. We're home. I'll catch you later.